going to go ahead and, and get started. I'm going to turn this screen over to you, Lon, if you want to grab the presenter wheels and talk about how to uh, create much more engaging videos. And I do see your screen now, so you're ready to go. Good to go. Red and ready. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? And we started to put together some of this stuff, and we have been doing this quite a while, like Michelle mentioned, and we've seen a lot of the things that people kind of struggle with. So one of the things that I'm going to start off talking about is creating engaging videos. And when I say engaging, what I'm talking about is how to kind of connect your viewers' eyeballs to their brain and engage with them in that particular sense. And one of the ways that we kind of do that, of course, is with animations in video. So what I'm going to do, and one thing that people struggle with quite a bit, and you can actually pop this into the chat box if you want, if you've ever struggled with using the animation features in Camtasia. There's a lot of information out there on how to do it for the most part, but there's also some, some things that really hold people up. And what I want to do is give you an Animation 101 sound foundational fundamental understanding of how to do animations in Camtasia because it can actually do quite a, a lot of different things right inside the software. But if you don't understand the fundamentals and the basics, then you're really going to have kind of a hard time with that. So I'm going to try to break it down for you and make it as simple as possible. So don't get too hung up in anything I do that maybe you don't understand right off the top of your head. We are recording this. We're going to have a replay. You can go back through the replay and you know watch it in more detail and depth. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to kind of rip through this. And hopefully, you'll pick up some of those nuggets that might have eluded you in the past as far as how the heck do you do such a thing. So animations in Camtasia can be performed on pretty much anything we put onto our timeline down here, except for music. So if I have a video clip, I can animate it. I can make it do something, change size or location, any images or anything like that. And in Camtasia, we have these assets called callouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a simple callout right to my timeline here. So I'm not going to have a complex project or anything. We're going to keep it really simple, and we're going to hammer these basics so that you can do all kinds of interesting and engaging animations. And when I say engaging, and speaking of animations, here's the point that I want to make. I'm going to use an arrow as an example here. I want people to not do too many animations. Uh, one thing that folks kind of get hung up on, especially in, in like things like PowerPoint or animation software that's out there, is they want to make everything spinning, twirling, whizzing, flying, burping all over the screen. Don't do that. When I say engaging, we're going to focus on a concept that's called leading the eye. I want to engage someone's eye so that they will be drawn to whatever is going on on the screen that I'm talking about. It makes that visual engagement connection. So we're going to use animations for specific effect, and that is to draw someone's attention to whatever we're referencing and whatever it is we're explaining or talking about. Okay. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's how we're going to kind of engage the eye here. So here I just have a little bit of an arrow. And any image you put on the timeline, we can move around. And we can do you know positioning or things like that. We can change the size. By the way, here's a tip. If you hold your Control key while you grab a corner here, you'll notice that it stays in proportion. If you don't, well, then it can kind of squish around and stuff, but that's just a quick little tip. But here's the thing. So I have this object that I want to animate. And you'll notice if I move the playhead here, it's just sitting there. And that's because I have not told it to do anything yet. 
So I'm going to click on this tab called Visual Properties because this is kind of the crux of the matter. Your Visual Properties might be under your More tab here, so keep that in mind. But if I look at the Visual Properties, what that means is that what is the size? Uh, how opaque is it or see-through? And then where is it positioned and what are some of the aspects of things like rotation. We'll get to that in a second. So watch these numbers and stuff over here as I simply move this, right? So here, what's called the x-axis is, you know, left and right. The y-axis is up and down. And the z-axis, don't worry what that means for this particular demo. But I just want you to understand that wherever something is positioned inside this little box here, and this box is representative of what will be seen in my final video. Wherever it is positioned, that is the set of properties that exist. Size, position, and things like that. For right now, I'm just going to focus on size and position. Okay, so here it is. The key to doing animations is animations make something move from one set of properties to another. So what I need to do first and foremost is configure where I want that movement to start. Okay, now I'm going to lead the eye with this arrow. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to pull this asset off outside of my video. So this is what someone would see and there's no arrow yet. So think of this as my starting state my starting position. Okay, Now I'm just going to move my playhead in somewhere. I don't really care where. A lot of people make the mistake of trying to put their playhead at the exact point they want the animation you know, to end. Don't worry, we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, So I'm just going to put my playhead in here and I'm going to click the Add Animation button. You'll notice I have not added an animation yet. Right? All I did was put it where I want it to start. Move the playhead in, click Add Animation, and then change the properties. So I want it to now lead the eye to, say, here. Okay? So here's kind of what just happened. And you'll notice that some of these numbers over here magically changed. If I put my playhead back here, this is my starting position. The little arrow represents the amount of time it takes to do the animation. And the animation is whatever changed. So I don't, you don't have to fiddle with numbers and stuff here, although you can. You can just move something and Camtasia will do that animation. Right? So now, remember I said I don't care where this starts or begins because I'm probably going to want to tweak it. Okay, and you can just grab this little guy and move it. And wherever the end of the arrow is, the left-hand side of the arrow is where the animation begins. Right? So here I'm grabbing the playhead and moving it. And then the big blue dot is where it ends. Okay, so all I did was I changed from this beginning state to this next state. Right, so now let's make it do something else. So it will stay this way until I tell it to do something else. So let's say I want to have it spin around, in other words, point the other way, and then we're going to animate it out. So unless I tell it to do something, right, it's just going to stay there. So let's move our playhead a little bit. Let's click Add Animation again. And then I'm just going to change the properties. Right? I'm just going to grab this little handle here and I'm going to spin it around. And you'll notice that now you know, we changed the, those properties. So this was the beginning state. Do the animation. And let's move ahead a little bit more. Add animation. And now I'm going to just have it kind of get out of there. Right? So at this point, I can, again, change how fast the animation happens by shrinking and growing 
the little tail end guy down here. Let's make this a little bigger. There we go. And zoom in a little bit. So I can change how fast it happens. And maybe I want them to happen one right after the other. So I just kind of stack them up like that. Right, so now it's going to spin and then it's going to exit. So if I want to make a change to something, here's kind of the key to remember. It's going to stay here until I tell it to do something else. But if I wanted it to, oh, say maybe, let's have it like shrink as it goes out. A lot of people think you have to double click this blue arrow here. You don't really have to do that. I can put my playhead anywhere after. All I'm doing is, remember, changing my, my state right here. And let's shrink it down a bit, like that. See, and now the animation will go from the beginning state and include all of the properties that I changed here. You know what? Let's add one more. All I got to do is move to the end anywhere and let's have it fade out too. So now I've added several other properties to this animation without having to monkey around too much. Okay, so that's basically the, the crux of how to successfully do animations. Anything I can change here, as far as any of these properties, we can make animate. And we can, you know, do some pretty cool and interesting things. Again, we'll use animations to draw emphasis to, to, to something or to lead the eye. Uh, and you can use it also to just break things up visually to make it a little more engaging, right? So, but that's really <laughs> pretty much all there is to it. Change when you want things to happen by moving the animation. And then what I'll do basically a lot of times is just kind of preview it, make sure it does what I want. So if I wanted it to stay in this state longer, maybe I'm talking and now it's time to get out of here. So we can just easily and quickly do things like that. So I hope that makes uh, animations just a little bit easier when you're trying to do them inside of Camtasia.